Okay, hey you guys, welcome back to another Renee's Recap. This week we are covering the days from April 22nd through the 28th. Um, I've had like a really long week, like it just, it's very weird to me like how some weeks go by like really fast and other weeks just like drag on. This week wasn't like a drag on week, but I just had a lot of stuff to do. So I had two assignments due and I started on a paper that's due next week, but I wanted to get most of it done. And so I had all that stuff to do. I also had my practice thesis presentation in my lab and that went, okay, I don't know, like it went, good-ish like there was I got a lot of good feedback um, but I don't know for sure if I felt like it went well but my like lab mates were like oh no it went really good so I'm trying to propose my thesis by like June ish hopefully that happens um I feel like I'm in a really good spot I have a few more edits to do on my actual thesis document but it's going really well. I really think it's moving and shaking. We're on like the, the tail end. Like I felt like at first it was like really, we we're like up here on the bell curve, but now we're like coming down. Um, in my assessment class, we learned about um, suicide, like assessing for suicide and assessing for domestic violence, um, which was interesting um i still i guess i'm gonna have to like get more comfortable like assessing for these things because i did feel a bit like people could just lie and i just like we have to like use our clinical judgment but like i feel like sometimes clinical judgment isn't that great and i feel like i wish there was a way like sort of how the roy shark gets at like the under the hood like you it's hard to fake on the road shot, but if I'm straight out asking you questions about suicidalness or suicidality, or if somebody, if you're in like a domestic violence situation, it's a lot easier for you to just be like, no, I'm not. Don't ask me about this. As opposed to if you, if I'm assessing for it and on the road shot, you're just telling me what these pictures, these ink blots look like. And so it's a lot harder for you to be like, oh, I'm gonna trick you, if that makes sense. Um, what else? This week, um, I'm trying to think if there was anything else pretty exciting. Um, I've been working on getting my lab's computer stuff up and running. Um, it's a whole issue, but I've been like going back and forth with IT and I just feel like, you know, like the IT guru at this point because I talk to them at least twice a week at this point. It's so ridiculous. Um, so I did that last week. I had psychometric theory. Do, do, do. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it on Friday. On Thursday, we had a really cool cultural competency meeting about um, some of these screeners for like dementia and mental status and like just like cognitive screeners, how they don't always translate for older adults. Um, so like my group, we talked about uh, Korean, older Korean women, um, how some of the screener stuff just might not accurately assess where they're at in their abilities. And it was just like really interesting to hear, like while these screeners are really good and they serve a really um, good purpose, like we have to be cognizant of the fact that they won't work for everybody. My hair looks so big. Um, yeah, and so that was Thursday. Psychometric theory, we um, talked about open source, not open source, uh, pre-registering your studies. Um, we talked about that, which I think is good in theory if you can do it, but in practice, if you can't do it, I don't think you'll die. Um, and uh, okay, and so then on Friday, my lab mate and I went to a workshop on assessing, yes, not assessing, um, treating trauma in teens and children. It was so, so interesting. Like it was a really, 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 really good workshop. So it was like two hours away and we basically spent the day in like, I don't know, I guess it would be central Missouri. I don't really know where um, Mizzou is, but 
we went down there and had a really good workshop for four hours about, you know, treating and um, I would say like assessing for trauma in teens and children and like what treatments are most effective and how to do these treatment plans with kids and teens and it was just really really interesting for me because i want to work with kids and teens um and i recently like discovered this like trauma center for kids children and teens for internship and I was like, oh, that would be really cool if I could work there for my internship year. And so it was just like, oh, I should go to this training to see if I really like it. Um, and I do really like it. I thought it was really interesting. So then on Saturday, I had my client in the morning and I had to get a dress. This has nothing really to do with grad school, but you know, whatever. So then I had to go get a dress because the dress I wanted to wear, I didn't really like how it looked. So I had to go get a dress at the mall and I discovered this, well, it's not really a new mall. I just hadn't been to it since I was a child. So I went back to an old mall and it was great. It was so, so, so great. It was like the best mall experience I've ever had. Um, it was so nice, it was clean. There wasn't a lot of people. It was A1, I found a really nice dress. And then that night, there's this thing called Severin, which is like, I guess like the end of the semester slash award ceremony for the department. And um, basically they hand out awards, people talk, and that's, yeah, that's basically it. Um, but people were calling it psychology prom. It, it, it wasn't that at all. It was not that but it was still um fun with an asterisk um it was an interesting experience because it was my first severin um people got awards people did thank you notes it was, it was okay um and then after that my lab mate and i went to bar louis and like oh my gosh we stayed out so late like it was like 11 almost 12 and that's like really late for me because i don't stay out that late um, so we went to that and I got these really good uh, tater tot nachos. They were delicious. I highly recommend them if you go to Bar Louie. And then Sunday came around and then I went to go see Avengers um, in, no it's not called, yeah, in game. I was like, it's not called in game, but it is. I went to go see Avengers in game. It was so good. Like. I don't want to give any spoilers, but it was amazing. Okay, hands down, best movie of the century. Yeah, that's all I can say about it. It was so, so, so good. Like, yeah. And so then, oh, and then I came home and then it was time for Game of Thrones. That episode was too good. Um, I know a lot of people didn't like it, but I really enjoyed it. I love Game of Thrones, if you haven't. Under, have you, if you haven't peeped that yet, I'm like a big Game of Thrones fan. Um, and so yeah, that was pretty much my entire week. Um, yeah, I don't know, sorry, I just got distracted. I've been super, super excited that the semester is wrapping up. I feel like I'm in a really good spot right now. Um, I got a final today. No, I actually got two finals. And then, so like next week will be mostly me um, preparing for my finals or preparing to prepare for my finals and like making a schedule and all that stuff. So I will record that separately um, of like how I plan and study and do all that for finals. So that will be that. And yeah, that's basically it. So if you have watched to this far, leave an orange emoji because orange is so fun. Um, and yeah, oh, follow me on my social media. And if you have video suggestions, leave them below. I've been loving all the comments you guys leave. Like it literally makes my day. Like you guys don't understand. Like when you guys comment, it just like brightens my day. Like ever so slightly it's so so cool interacting with you guys so you can just leave a comment to say hi if you want that'd be pretty cool um yeah and so that's pretty much it i think i said everything follow me on social media leave comments yeah so that's basically it i will see you guys in the next one peace out and i love you all so much bye